from the Motor Trend Archives, it's American Classics, brought to you by Classic Wax. Take care of your pride with Classic Wax. Love, honor, polish. The performance starts as soon as you are seated. That's how an ad for the 1970 Chevelle once read. But as far as we can tell, that is Chevrolet's marketing team employing the art of understatement because this car right here has the highest factory horsepower rating of any muscle car ever made. Chevelle Super Sport, 454 cubic inches. 450 horsepower, and it's all at the push of a pedal for this man. They're beautiful cars, I think. There are a lot of Chevelle lovers who consider this the model to aspire to. A 1970 Super Sport with 58 more cubic inches than the closest Chevy engine to it. Alan drove by a neighbor's house every day watching this car from afar. Out there by where we live, a uh, car sat under a tree for, uh, I know, of 10 years. Then his neighbor got hitched. He got married and his new wife decided it had to go, so. So after restoration, Alan is the owner of an Astro Blue Chevelle with the highest factory output engine ever created. The 375 horse 396 was the next step down, which it, it was respectable. And very popular. There was the even more rare LS5 version of the 454 that rated at 360 horsepower. Nothing like the 450 available under here. The LS6 has 11.25 to 1 compression heads, an aluminum intake, special solid lifter cams, and it was teamed up with a huge 780 CFM Holly car. All for the price that makes muscle car fanatics shed a tear today. Back then, would you have paid an extra $263? If you knew enough to order the 450 horsepower LS6 version of a Chevelle, you knew you were in for one fiery ride because Chevelle's tested with the LS6 had run the quarter mile in just less than 13 and a half seconds. In fact, in 1969, Motor Trend put a prototype Chevelle with the SS454 option up against two other supercars of the day, a Plymouth Roadrunner and a Ford Torino Cobra. Editors wrote that they couldn't help but be impressed by the Chevelle. It was certainly the strongest, the most super of the three. But don't let the engine overshadow the rest of this machine. There's a few unusual options that make this a rare one. These are fiber optic turn indicators. I think that was a $26.35 option back then, 70. But the really interesting option is a little farther up on the hood. It's this cowl induction system. It's a rear-facing scoop that has a vacuum-actuated flapper. What happens when you match the accelerator, the motor loses vacuum, flap comes up, pulls in your fresh air, cool air. Check it out as he floors it for us. The air comes from the relatively high-pressure area at the base of the windshield. Oh, yeah, it, it looks real cool, too. It's pretty neat to see you flap come up. And what a sound from the entire package. A sound that would start to be watered down after 1970, but this Chevelle could still walk on water today. It shines. It's, it's pretty. For Chevelle lovers, the LS6 was Chevrolet's crowning achievement. Then came concerns over air pollution and higher insurance premiums. So this was the last year that they made that particular engine. Now, if you ask people who have ever driven a car with an LS6 in it, they'll tell you a different reason for why they stopped making them. You can't improve on perfection. I've chased it for 10 years, and now I believe I'm going to hang on to it. 